everybody, this is Carrie Canary Quilts, and this is the last week of the Christmas Time Mystery Quilt Along that's exclusive to Fat Quarter Shop. And it is a free pattern. If you still want to do it, you can go grab it. They do have a fabric kit, and I have all those links down below. I used my own fabrics, and you can use your own fabrics too. So you can grab the pattern and put yours together starting today if you wanted to. The first four weeks, we're doing these blocks right here. And then this last week was just putting these borders in and finishing out our quilt top. So we do, there are instructions to do the quilt back and that's just basically cutting your fabric up in nine and a half inch squares and making a scrappy back like that. I'm not doing that today. Um, I'm just doing the quilt top. I decided to go with this green gingham and I'm so glad I did. Um, I was thinking all along I would be doing this white background and then everything would float but I did two different backgrounds and I got so lucky that the green holly, the two pieces with the green holly ended up on this side and the two pieces with the red and gray Christmas lights ended up on this side. And I just didn't think they'd float with a white. So I used a dark and I just really think it frames every block very nicely. And I think it helps my card stand out. That's what I did today. Oh, and I show you kind of how I did this. These corners are not in the pattern. They just tell you to do regular borders, and I literally did not, I had, I was just short of being able to do all the borders. So I show you how I do these cornerstones, and it's not too hard at all. Kind of took it from more of a beginner quilt to a little more advanced quilt, but hey, most people are probably not going to do this, but I show you what I do and uh, how it turned out. I want to say thank you for following along on this Christmas time journey. I had COVID during most of it, so I was probably a little raspy and a little tired most of the time doing this but thank you for sticking with me I really appreciate it head over to my Facebook post for this and put a picture of your quilt in in your blocks I'd love to see them see what fabrics you used and I hit the subscribe button notification bell we got all kinds of fun stuff here we've got these state blocks I'm doing I'm doing two very different tulip pink quilt alongs I got a uh, I'm doing the designer mystery quilt along so lots of fun stuff box openings and so let's get started Okay, we are finishing out our little Christmas quilt here. Um, we've got the, we're on week five, and this is called finishing, where we're going to put borders in between. And I'm going with this dark green gingham. I love it. I used almost every scrap of it. Um, on the inside, outside borders, I didn't have enough. So I'm going to do this red gingham. I know it's hard to see. But this red gingham is going to go in the corners, in all four corners. So it's fairly simple. <clears throat> Cut these one and a half inch strips, one and a half by nine and a half. This is one and a half by 23 and a half. I didn't have a long enough strip, so it is, I did put it together in the middle. And then I put together two and a half inch strips to make my border. So. I did use every scrap of this border. And I'm, you know, I was planning on using just the green all the way around, but I think I'm gonna like this red gingham in the corner. So, yeah. And then the back of the quilt is just taking nine and a half inch squares, four rows of them, a four by four square. So you have 16 of these, they're gonna get sewn together, and that's gonna be your back. I am not gonna do that today. I am just going to concentrate on doing the front of the quilt and getting that finished. First thing we want to do though <clears throat> is we're going to put this side together and then we'll put this side together and then we'll join the two with this long strip. So I'm ready to go with my quarter inch foot. I'm just going to put the strip on the bottom of this and we will always be ironing towards our border strip here. Iron towards that border strip. And then we're going to add, whoops, we're going to add this piece to our border and sew that on at a quarter of an inch. Okay, 
will iron this one towards the border. <clears throat> So this side is done. I'll set that aside. We'll add my little border strip to the bottom of my mug and iron or sew that on quarter of an inch. Come back, iron towards the strip. Now we will add this to the bottom. Add it onto this strip. Sew a quarter of an inch, iron towards the strip. Pretty easy. So now we are going to marry the two of these with that center strip right here. So I'll add it to this side first and then we'll come back and iron it towards the strip and add the other side. And my piece is a little bit longer and I will trim that at the end. So iron this towards that green center. Ooh, I love that color. I love that green gingham. Okay, let's add this to the center strip and our little top will be done. There we go, our little quilt top. I gotta put it sideways or it's not, I can't show the whole thing. There we go, really cute. That green really makes it stand out. I was really worried that it was getting a little too busy, but that dark border as opposed to a light border I think really does help it out. All right, so next is the outside border. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my two ends, and I, I could do it either way. I could put on the two shortest side and then put the um, corners onto my longest sides over here and then put it on. Um, it really can be done either way, so. <clears throat> I'm just going to take one of mine here, I'm going to put it on, and sew the two longer sides, and then I'll make the short sides with the corners. So we will get these sewn on, and we're going to iron towards that border. We're always ironing towards the border on this last finishing part. Iron towards the border. A lot of border and ironing, or just sewing and ironing borders on. So with the Halloween mystery quilt, I didn't put a border on and I liked it better, but this one really, I really think, especially mine, needs a border. So it's kind of a game time call. Put this side on. Get this iron towards the border and then we'll build our other strips up. Okay, I'm back. I uh, put this, this side of my border on because I needed to measure this distance and I wanted to make sure I got it right before I did the next one. So what I did, I'll show you what I did. I measured the distance from right here on this seam to right here on this seam and I added a half an inch because you're gonna have a quarter inch seam on each side. So that's how I am doing it. And for this, I am getting a 19 inch cut. And I can modify, I can modify my cut as I go also. Okay, <clears throat> so there's my cut. I'm gonna put one of my corners on get it ironed and we're gonna iron towards the green or the big strip. Okay, so there's one corner. And I'm gonna put it right here. 
and I'm going to pin that on. Make sure these seams right here nest each other. I think I might need to trim a little more, so let's put this down. Yep, looks like I need to take, actually, <clears throat> about another quarter of an inch off. Let's try a quarter of an inch and see where that gets me. That looks pretty good. So, I will iron or sew this on. Why do I do that? It's kind of on the fly quilting, huh? It's not in the pattern. I got to figure it out. And I'm doing this mainly because I want this green gingham fabric. And I just didn't have enough. Obviously, I needed these corners. So, we will nest these corners. We'll get this sewn on. Our little quilt top will be done. That's crazy. It's always crazy to me when I finish them. I don't know why. I just am like happy, I'm proud, accomplished. You guys feel like that too? So, let's get this sewn on. Look at that, we get that beautiful point right there where those two fabrics meet in the corner. It's a good thing this is done right now because I am out of bobbin thread. I don't know why, it's like a pet peeve. If I run out of bobbin thread, it just, it's like chalk, fingernails on a chalkboard to me for some reason. I know it's weird, but that's what it is. All right. lay it this way can I, I can't get the whole thing in but you saw it at the beginning oh yeah that turned out really cool I'm so glad I went with that dark gray uh, green gingham but there you go that was a lot of fun this is a beginner quilt I kind of made it more advanced with my corners here but I did that because I wanted this color and I had to I had to compromise, so I got these red corners, which look really cool. I mean, they don't look bad at all. But anyway, let me know how it's going for you. Head over to my Facebook page, and on the post for this finishing, um, the finishing of this quilt, give me some pictures of what you're doing. How did yours turn out? What colors did you use? I mean, this is this has been really fun. Unfortunately, I've been building it while I had COVID, so. It's been a little more difficult for me, but I made it. I made it through and we finished it. And I appreciate you coming along this journey with me, with me being sick and everything. Probably haven't sounded very good, but I really do appreciate it. I loved making this quilt. I loved making this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Next mystery quilt, next state blocks. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and we'll just have a fun time here on this channel. So go check it out. And I'll see you later. Bye.